Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 87 of 2019, establishing the Sustainable Energy Authority, the SEA. The SEA will be affiliated to the Cabinet, and its President will be appointed by decree. The SEA is mandated to provide technical support to the concerned authorities in the field of conservation of sustainable energy sources of all kinds, to raise the efficiency and development of their uses, to ensure their safe supply, and to encourage investment in them in coordination with. The other relevant authorities. His Majesty also issued Decree Number 88 of 2019, appointing Dr. Abd Hussein Ali Mirza as President of the Sustainable Energy Authority. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulating His Majesty on Bahrain's ranking among the world's top 10 business climate improvers. His Royal Highness hailed the honorable achievement that distinguished Bahrain in the World Bank's Doing Business 2020 report that covered 190 countries. He said that the achievement is a source of pride result from the guidance and support of of His Majesty the King and confirms the kingdom is on the right direction towards achieving its development goals. His Royal Highness pledged that Bahrain would continue to work towards improving further its international ranking and contribution to the consolidation of quality opportunities for its citizens. His Royal Highness added that this achievement reflects the fulfillment of the aspirations of the Bahrain Economic Vision of 2030 and highlights the progress and positive results achieved by the national economy in terms of the financial situation in the kingdom. He said that the outstanding accomplishment also reflects the commitment of the executive and legislative authorities, the private sector and NGOs as part of their active engagement within Team Bahrain and their joint efforts to achieve the kingdom's sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness then wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to his Royal Highness's role in contributing to this achievement and supporting the Kingdom's Progress March. His Majesty expressed pride in this international achievement, which reflects the role of Bahrainis in making these accomplishments that place Bahrain among top countries worldwide. His Majesty expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's efforts and wished him abundant health and further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Galabia Palace the former French President Nicolas Sarkozy on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the guest and reviewed with him the fraternal ties between the two countries, hailing the advanced level of exchanged coordination, prosperity and development at all levels. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the former President's role in bolstering Bahraini-French relations, noting France's effective role in contributions to the international community in establishing security and stability and spreading peace regionally and internationally. The two sides also discussed regional developments and a number of regional and international topics of common interest. For his part, the former French president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and for His Majesty's efforts to establish fraternal and historic ties and develop bilateral cooperation.
Commander of the Royal Guard, National Security Advisor and Head of the High Organizing Committee of Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, Sabaidak, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's meeting today, which comes as part of Bahrain's hosting of the second edition of BIDEC under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. At the beginning of the meeting, His Highness listened to a detailed presentation on the committee's work, which aims to present Bahrain in a positive light as a hosts this international exhibition where various military weapons will be displayed. His Highness said he looked forward to increased cooperation between diplomatic and military efforts and those between Bahrain and the rest of the world's countries as Bahrain pushes forward to accomplish the Bahrain Defense Forces objectives, attract investment, host the latest technology and stimulates its tourism sector. His Highness said that BIDEC will result in raising Bahrain's ambitions and developing its capacity to host world-class events even further. His Highness expressed appreciation for all the efforts to host the event, which he said is among the most important of such exhibition in the region and the biggest one in Bahrain. His Highness expressed confidence in the ability of Bahrainis to host the event successfully in the service of the country and expressed satisfaction with the level of coordination efforts between the committee and all relevant ministries and directorates in the country. His Highness said that the exhibition will represent a platform for innovations in defense strategies and anti-terrorism solutions which will help in confronting the challenges that face the allied countries which work together in areas of war and conflict. For his part, the Secretary General of the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Derasad, official spokesperson of BIDEC and President of the Organizing Committee for the Middle East Military Technology Conference, MEMTEC, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation for the support and the directives of His Highness and stressed that His Highness is keen on ensuring that Bahrain is as prepared as possible to make BIDEC a great success, which Sheikh Abdullah said represents Bahrain's commitment to the stability, security, knowledge production and development in the region. He also expressed delight with Dir Assad's participation in the conference by holding MEMTEC alongside BIDEC. Sheikh Abdullah also highlighted the great care that that was taken in selecting the topics and speakers at Memtech, which he said provides a platform for an exchange for ideas, opinions and cooperation on military and security affairs in order to confront common challenges and threats in the region and beyond. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 44th Inter-Arab Campus Association, the ICA Conference, opened today at the Ritz-Carlton, Bahrain. The conference, organized by the Bahrain Financial Markets Association in cooperation with the Central Bank of Bahrain under the slogan, Reshaping Finance in a Changing Economy, was attended by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of senior government officials. During the opening, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak stressed the importance of holding conferences such as the ICA as it contributes to the creation of more promising investment opportunities that benefit the country and its citizens. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed noted the kingdom's continued commitment to further enhance its economic development and support the objectives of its comprehensive development. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed further noted the kingdom's competitive economic and investment environment which has contributed to enhancing its economic positions globally through the impl implementation of wide-ranging legislations aimed at achieving a sustainable economy. In an opening statement, the Kingdom's representative of the Inter-Arab Campus Association, the ICA, chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the 44th ICA Conference, Abdullah Dawood, highlighted the importance of hosting the conference in Bahrain, adding that it stands as an opportunity to introduce Bahrain's local banking and financial system and the direct and indirect investments prospects available in the country. The ICA chairman Tamir Khalifa highlighted the kingdom's success in hosting the conference six years after it last hosted it, adding that it reinforces the kingdom's determination to further strengthen its role in the region's financial and business markets.
Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa held a meeting with the former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who was one of the speakers at the 44th Arab Federation of Traders in Global Markets Conference, which was inaugurated today under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The meeting highlighted the strong bilateral relations and discussed a number of regional and international topics of common concern. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today inaugurated Arla Foods Production and Distribution Plant at Salman Industrial City on behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the opening ceremony, His Highness highlighted that the Kingdom's competitive business environment has bolstered its position as a business and investment destination within the region. His Highness added that the promotion of sustainable development and opportunities for citizens by Team Bahrain has led to the kingdom being identified by the World Bank as one of the top 10 most improved countries in the Doing Business of 2020 report. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted that the kingdom's sophisticated business infrastructure, particularly the facilities provided by the Salman Industrial City, continues to play a vital role in further strengthening the logistical sector, advancing the kingdom's investment during economic development in line with the principles of Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. In a speech given by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, he expressed delight for hosting Arla as part of Bahrain's manufacturing landscape. He added that the ministry will continue to play its role in attracting foreign direct investment, facilitating business and supporting growth in line with the country's economic diversification and expansion plans. For his part, Arla Food CEO Peter Thibault said that the Middle East and North African region is a priority market for the company and that the inauguration of this production site in Bahrain consolidates its commitment to the region. Tubo added that Bahrain is now its key manufacturing hub for the MENA region, which demonstrates Arla's confidence in the kingdom's rapidly growing manufacturing sector and alignment with the nation's economic vision of 2030 diversification plans. Welcoming the project, the chief executive of Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khalid Hmedan, said that Arla is the latest in a long line of international manufacturing companies to make Bahrain a home for their national operations and that today's inauguration of Arla's largest facility outside Europe is testament to Bahrain's position as a leading destination for manufacturing companies. A number of senior government officials and Arla executive employees also attended the event. Well, today we are opening our facility uh, the, that we have taken over uh, in Arla Foods uh, here in Bahrain. Uh, and it's a great day because we have been in the region for many generations. And uh, this safeguards our investments and our commitment to the region in many, many generations also looking forward to come. So it's an important day uh, that shows, uh, yes, we've been here many years and we intend to be here and even be here stronger. Actually, it feels great to, to actually attend this uh, uh, great opening for, for the Arla plant in Bahrain. Uh, the environment is full of excitement and joy and uh, actually ambitious for the future as well to expand Arla, Arla plant in, uh, in Bahrain. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with the Foreign Minister of Malaysia, Saif Din Abdullah, on the sidelines of the 18th Summit of the Non Aligned Movement, which is to be held on October the 25th and the 26th in Baku. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed praised the outstanding level of Bahraini Malaysian relations in light of the keenness of both countries to continuously develop them at all levels. For his part, the Malaysian Foreign Minister expressed pride in the close relations between Bahrain and Malaysia and underlined the importance of developing them further in the service of both countries and people. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, welcomed the World Bank's Doing Business 2020 report, which has placed Bahrain among the top 10 improvers globally and second among the Arab countries, an advancement of 19 ranks to 43 out of a total of 190 economies. The minister noted that this year's ranking is a direct result of Bahrain's progress in accelerating investment driven economic development in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He congratulated His Majesty the King on Bahrain's achievements as outlined in the report, noting that global recognition of the kingdom's efforts bolsters development and promotion of competitiveness. He also extended his congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, stressing that the government was able to achieve major strides in its development under his leadership. He also expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the ongoing support extended by the executive committee under the chairmanship. The minister highlighted the improvements in Bahrain's business environment have been made possible by the executive and legislative authorities, judicial authority, private sector and NGOs, which together form Team Bahrain, as well as the introduction of new initiatives and upgrades to the kingdom's regularity framework. The minister concluded by noting that Bahrain has strengthened access to credit, which helped to improved the kingdom's position by 18 ranks globally. Moreover, Bahrain's ranking improved by 69 places to 59th globally in enforcing contracts, as well as 33 places to the 60th globally for resolving insolvency following the enactment of the reorganization and bankruptcy law. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier to open the Bahrain Airport expansion project in the first quarter of 2020, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Bahrain Airport Company Chairman Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed inaugurated an event to register volunteers as part of the 14,000 volunteers for the operational readiness trials of the new passenger terminal in support of the development plan of the aviation sector in the kingdom and in line with the government's program and the objectives of the Bahrain Economic Vision of 2030. The event was held at Sif Mall in the presence of representatives from the Ministry of Interior, Civil Aviation Affairs, Bahrain Airport Company, Gulf Air, Bahrain Airport Services Company. The minister affirmed the testing at all the advanced systems and facilities in the new passenger terminal will help identify any areas that need improvement before it is launched. Those who wish to participate can register online through the link or by calling the number at the bottom of the screen www.bahrainairport.bhort MTLs for her, the kingdom's first ladies credit card, organized today the Bahraini Pioneer Ladies Awarding Ceremony and Conference, which celebrated the stories and contributions of 25 Bahraini pioneering women across different sectors. More in this report with Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Celebrating women as positive change agents in the Bahraini society and shedding light on their rich journey and achievements to lead and influence the young generation to pursue their ambitions and goals. MTS for Her, an innovation of Bahrain Commercial Facilities Company, organized pioneers in the development of Bahrain Ceremony and Conference, which included speeches by inspiring women from Bahrain and the region who highlighted the importance of self-development, encouraged all women to dream and overcome the barrier of fear and only focus on reaching their ambitions.
wonderful gathering that brings a lot of uh, success stories, a lot of beautiful experiences all together. On a yearly basis, it's wonderful that uh, Bahrain Credit highlights uh, the role of women not only in Bahrain but also abroad. There's a great panel of speakers this afternoon uh, here with us and it's wonderful to hear and to learn and to be exposed to all these uh, wonderful women and great experiences. The role of women that was played uh Ages, ages ago, I can see uh, it is with the start of education. So over a hundred years, women have been willing, they have been ready to participate in the rise of the society and in the empowerment of women. I really honor uh, the women who played that role and in re recognition of their uh, input, this event uh, takes place. I thank Bahrain Credit for this uh, opportunity, for this event that they have made. Uh, I think it's a wonderful gesture to show their corporate social responsibility, to give back to the society and to uh, uh, give, uh, give back even to the women's movement in Bahrain. Uh, I think it's a wonderful event and uh, it's, a, it's a very positive thing to acknowledge women and to show what they have done, what they have uh, contributed to their society and so that we set uh, a legacy. Bahrain Commercial Facilities Company stressed that its imagination and ambition is to design a financial product that goes beyond its commercial objectives and depend mainly on the creation of lifestyle, supporting and empowering women. We have um, the exclusive, the only um, uh, ladies' credit card in Bahrain under the brand of MTS for Her. And what we are trying to do, we are trying to associate the uh, the car and position the car with all the um, issues that are related to women. So this time we have thought of um, documenting, rewarding those pioneer ladies at different stages in the history of Bahrain who have contributed immensely to the development of Bahrain. The event displayed contributions of women leaders and entrepreneurs in various fields and across different social and economic conditions and served as a great platform for such powerful women to connect. Pioneers in the development of Bahrain ceremony organized by Bahrain Commercial Facilities Company today celebrates the achievements, stories and contributions of inspiring Bahraini women to national development. Reporting for Bahrain International, Mheba Abdul Ghaffar.